Telling you, but you will never know when I really want to change. Now I'm taking it further for people that never be stuck in the same lanes, and I never thought I would ever know. Doing everything I hey guys, it's me, Life Summer, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4. So Ethan's actually doing his homework for once. Oh my goodness, yes. Actually, you know what? I take that back. Ethan is a good freaking kid. He is a B average. In The Sims 3, I had kids with Fs, and I still loved them very much. So you know what, Ethan? Props to you, boo-boo. Props to you. But yeah, he's doing his homework before school, uh, even though he's starving, whatever. And as you guys saw in the intro, it's almost Nadine's birthday, which is kind of causing her to go through, I guess you could call it a midlife crisis a little bit. Um, Nadine, you know, she we, we've grown up with her throughout this whole entire LP, and she wasn't even one of our kids. She was, well, Noah's kid, which is a little creepy because Noah could have been Drake's daddy if I played the game just a little bit differently. Oh, that would have been... Oh, no. Oh, no. That would have been so messed up. Imagine that if, like, out of nowhere, Candace and Noah got back together, which if Noah would have disappeared, that probably would have happened. And then they would have been siblings and they would have been in love. Like, step-siblings, but they... Oh, that would have been weird. Anyways, um... Yeah. <laughs> Nadine is kind of going through a midlife crisis a little bit because... She's about to age up into an elder, and that's kind of crazy. She's going to have gray hair, which I just don't think she's ready to. So I, there's a possibility she's having another baby. Maybe she'll adopt or demand grandchildren ASAP. But all I know is she is not happy about it. And what is going on back here? Actually me. Actually me when I go outside. Ay. <laughs> but yeah, um, what does she actually want to do? Travel to the park? Not right now, sweetie. And of course, she's mourning Jose. Like, this is going to be me very soon. Oh, poor thing. And obviously, Drake doesn't want another kid. He's already old. Uh, like, he's old already. He's he's not down to have more children. I don't think it would be fair to the kid. The kid would have its parents for a very short amount of time, you know? Um, So, I, Drake definitely doesn't want one. He's good. He has his two children. He has his boy and his girl. He doesn't want any more. But of course, Nadine, you know, her mother instincts are kicking in and she's realizing, wow, I'm not going to be able to have kids anymore. So she's kind of, you know, going through it a little bit. Even though her children are fully grown, she's not having it. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, she still needs to invite over Ryder again. We'll invite him over. We'll get really close with Ryder and read for him for a couple of hours. Um, but I think I'm going to have her and Taylor have a spa day soon. Because I, I feel like that will kind of make her feel a little bit better about herself. I know when my mom's down and not feeling herself too much, I take her to the spa and we get a facial and a massage and a pedicure and stuff. And that makes her feel a little bit better about herself. So I feel like that will be a nice little gift from Taylor to Nadine for her birthday. Even though she has to go to work today and everything. So it won't be today. Uh, and I think I'm going to have Nadine kind of channel her inner zen monster to maybe be a little bit more fit and stuff. But she's going to go bake some stuff. I want her to improve her baking skill because everybody wants to know how to bake. A grandma that can bake, aka the best grandmas ever. So she's going to work on her baking skill. Um, Drake. All right. Ethan is going to school now, hungry, and has to use the restroom, but he's going. He's on his way. Sorry, buddy, that you have to go to school feeling like that. But, um, Drake is so old that it's like, why even bother, like, having him work on any skills? He can just go make friends around town, I guess. <laughs> even though that's a little weird. Like, hey, guys. What's up? I'll have him go explore space this morning. Normal. Hey, Nadine, I'm going to go explore space. Don't mind me. Hopefully the brownies will be done by the time I get home. Bye. Just making sugar cookies, though. But still. Let's go and throw our ice cream away. I'm going to make ice cream literally every single day. Because there's so many flavors. And I want to know them all. Got to catch them all, guys. Got to catch them all. 
Andy's off. Hopefully he will bring home some cool stuff. No, the gummy pancakes. Nobody ate them. Throw them in there. Taylor's awake and feeling very flirty. Honey, go ahead and take yourself a cold freaking shower. Yikes. Drake doesn't remember how much, but he thinks he may have been abducted. Oh, no. He now stands in a small, sterile arena. Um, whatever, whatever. There are two rooms, one round and one triangular. The room is tense with excitement. We're going to put the ball in the triangle hole to be different because you can put the ball in the round hole and it most likely will fit better so we're gonna put it in the triangle hole to be a different little creature of the night yeah guys <laughs> i don't know of course it does whoa what is this so if i would have put it in the round hole we probably would have traveled to um to the space land six them but uh yeah we actually uh i guess crushed into home <laughs> okay nice this, this is an old man and he just came crashing down to the planet of sims that's a little scary that's a little scary Oh, he's feeling great, though. He's like, you know what? I explored space. Maybe I came crashing down, but that's okay. He's going to go back for a little while. He's like, Nadine, I don't want cookies. I want brownies. Get back in there. Whoops. Zoomed out all the way. Weird. Do you see her hair? It was, like, flying across the map. That's a little different. Moving day. Passing the planet. Yang. <laughs> what? Drake sees a wary looking alien standing. Whatever, whatever. Drake got some extra time. What the? I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know. Too lazy to read it, guys, to be honest. He's helping an alien out, I guess. All right. Are you not going to cook it? Go on. Resume making it. Or, you know what? Go use the potty really quickly. When you get your. Oh. Good thing Drake has expanded the cargo bay. Um, we got some cool stuff like black light posters, some milk crate furniture, and some old concert t-shirts. Um, oh, and a dirty futon. Very nice. She's going to go use the toilet and head downstairs. Hopefully when we get our royalties today, we can maybe put together a new bathroom. Uh, money, money, money is really sparse in this household right now. Yeah, actually, that's really good money for just a few bucks. But yeah, money's a little on the tight side right now. I feel like that's another reason why Nadine's probably a little worried. Her kids' careers aren't exactly bopping right now. They're one of them's still in high school, and the other one's working her way up to be a mixologist. So it is a little tight right now. And if she goes, then it's like. Well, who are the kids going to have to support them, you know? But yeah, we're going to put together a bathroom really quickly. I don't have much money to work with, but I got some custom content tiled flooring. So I'm going to plop that in there. I could do a very bright color, but I love how the blue looks. I think the blue is very pretty. And then we're going to go in with probably some white wallpaper, which I know is so basic, but it's pretty. Mm. No, that looks a little dirty. Maybe this white. No, that looks funky too. I could have it be very formal, but then it doesn't really match with the flooring. So let me go back, change the flooring. Oh, that's really pretty. It looks very royal. Oh, I should actually give it to little little Ethan give him a toilet in there that'd be a nice gift congrats no that will be his graduation gift when he graduates high school hi honey we love you here's the toilet <laughs> all right but we're gonna put down some counters see these ones I love my his and her sinks we'll never stop doing them because they're gorgeous all right, I don't really have very much to decorate. <laughs> well, much simoleons to finish this room off with. So I'm going to just throw in a sink. 
Even though these are more expensive than your normal stuffs, I like them. And a toilet. That's all I have for now. It doesn't even look pretty, but it's a functioning bathroom. And I'm happy with that. And we can take a mud bath now and take baths with soaks. I don't know why you can't do this with every single bath. That is beyond me. You should be able to take baths with things like this in every single one. I don't know. It's a little weird. But we're going to go take a... Oh, wait. Actually, we're going to go downstairs and finish those brownies. Ethan's friend hasn't studied for the big exam today. Since he's taking it... Taking it earlier in the day, Ethan could easily remember the questions and slip his friends the answers. Should he do it or let the friend figure it out? Share the answers. Performance loss, small. We really can't afford this. <laughs> but yeah, she's going to go downstairs, finish the brownies. Taylor has work later today, so I guess she'll call Bravon up on the phone and be like, Hey, boo, how are you doing? I hope you're doing or you know what? No. She's going to go work on her mixology skill because she needs to advance in her career really badly. Her performance and work is not the best. So she's going to go to work feeling inspired today. I'll make sure of it. And uh, yeah, she needs to achieve level seven in the mixology skill. She's a level five right now. She doesn't have work for another six hours. So I'll have her work on this for a couple. Oh, Nadine's feeling very confident right now. Oh. This one's still in space. <laughs> well, he'll be happy to know his brownies will be done when he returns. Fast forward. Yes, the brownies are done. How close are we to leveling up our baking? Eh, about halfway, a little bit more than halfway there. But she's going to go take a little bathy with um, milk, honey, and oatmeal. Very nice. If you ever want to create a really simplistic, relaxing bath um, for like my, I take daily baths because I'm a baby. Literally, I'm a baby. I like to use the bath salts. They're like $3. You can get it anywhere. I use the lavender ones and then I also get some bath milk, which sounds like really weird, but you can also get that really like at any drugstore, whatever. And it's like, three dollars and I mix it together and it's really soothing and my bath smells amazing and I, sometimes I'll treat myself to the occasional bath bomb and bubbles and stuff but oh look she's she's relaxed and she's loving it with her face mask she's like you know what I'm channeling my inner babe this face mask is going to rejuvenate my skin cells and I'm gonna look like a dime so because I'm Benjamin what is it the Benjamin button guy she's gonna age backwards but um yeah, she's just going to work on this. Keep working on it, sweetie. She has work in four hours. All right, she's like standing there. All right, and Drake is home. So he actually didn't bring us anything unless it's in our inventory. Drake. Drake. You need to take up a skill or something because obviously this guitar thing isn't working for you. You need to provide something for us here. So we're going to shop him, shop for him really quickly or at least get an idea of what he's going to take up because this boy is lazy. I mean, I could do woodworking, but he's just going to craft a bunch of ugly end tables that I don't want, to be honest. Um. Okay, I guess I'll just work with his guitar. It's we already have it. It'll be cheaper than going and buying him something. So, yeah, get over there and jam out, I guess. Go. I wish we could play for tips. That would be nice. That would be very nice. All right, she has work in about three hours. She's just kind of standing there. So, I guess you're done for now. And we're going to have her head upstairs. Well, she doesn't really need to take a shower right now. Um, but she'll go take a thoughtful one. Get her inspiration flowing. She'll probably take two showers before work. <laughs> oh, well, hey. Look, she's feeling herself. She's like, mm-hmm. Yes. Oh. She's even going to dance it out. She is really feeling herself. Baby soft skin. Ah. Uh, Oh, of course it's baby soft, right? Of course it is. 
baby soft skin. Ah, uh, itchiness is soothed. Nothing like a good milk honey oatmeal honey good milky oatmeal honey bath to take the edge off plus it leaves a lingering smell of cereal okay if you're into that sort of thing <laughs> i like to smell like fruit loops on the daily guys it's my perfume son actually to get another fish maybe maybe cook one for dinner <laughs> no no we'll, we'll plop you back in there buddy Nadine's essence of inspiration. Ooh, give that to Taylor. She can just go ahead and sip that right before work. Megan's essence of discomfort. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, you a piece of artwork at the museum, honey? No. She's going to go make herself a drink before work. Smart. Very smart. Let me just go make myself a drink before work. They'll never suspect anything. What are you doing? We need the Smolians, a.k.a. Well, first, go feed Gretchen before she dies. Stop mourning Jose. He's, like, somewhat alive now, okay? Jeez. Get, go cook some more food. Okay, let's get that baking skill up. I'm just waiting for Ethan to come home again. Go bake some breadsticks. What did I just eat? <laughs> She's not feeling it right now. She's not feeling the fruitcake. I'm always feeling food. I'm never like, get this away from me. It's like, hey, you know what I never understood? And honestly, like, I don't know why, but when I was in school, especially elementary school, like if somebody offered me their snack or something or like their leftovers, I'd be like, yes, like you don't even, I don't even question it. I will take it, I will eat it. And then like, I don't know why, but if I ask somebody, hey, you want a drink? Hey, do you want a bag of chips or something? And they're like, oh, no, I'm good. It's like, oh, I'm like kind of sad when they tell me no. It's like, are you sure? Are you sure you don't want this? Because I don't mind. I don't know. I'm weird like that. Very weird, guys. I like to make my company feel way too much at home. My friends come over. I'm like, act as if this is your house. Go into the pantry. Freaking kick my furniture if you want do what you want i want you to feel comfortable you know i am that host it's like please destroy my house if you want and then when you leave i'll be furious but i'll be like all right at least they they felt at home <laughs> but yeah oh oh should ethan invite over classmate tess okay oh wow where is she here she is oh ethan she's your friend Oh, I love it. Oh, he's going to go share his insecurities with her here. Because <laughs> she is feeling, he's feeling very, very embarrassed from the day he had. He tried to help his friend, which was probably one of the cool kids. He's trying to fit in and then it never worked. <laughs> it's like, all right, Ethan, I get it. I get it. Aww. Ask about woohoo. Ask for foot massage. He's going to ask her about her career. Even though she's rich. Another little fact. Yes, they are rich. I'm talking like an extra 100,000 simoleons. So, well, we are struggling with 100. They have 100,000. We're going to... Tell her how much we like her as a friend. How cute is her outfit, too, with the little slippers? Ugh, adorable. Taylor, don't you have work in a minute? Yes. Okay. But she's feeling inspired. Yay. Nadine, what, Nadine just eats a lot. That's all Nadine does, like, all day. She still hasn't leveled up her baking skills, so she's going to go cook. Or no, Ryder is home from school, so we're going to call up our nephew and be like, get over here. <laughs> get over here. Let me read to you. All right, he should be over shortly. And um, in the next part will be her birthday. So we will have over like some of the family members to celebrate it with, unless she gets pregnant. Then she won't be aging up. Oh, look at the kids eating their pancakes. Oh, how cute are you guys? 
writer's here. And he's feeling embarrassed all over again. Hey, Ryder. How you doing, boo? We're going to ask him how his school day was. And then we are going to... <laughs> we will tell him how we think his hat is so cute. And we're going to go grab the book. Which where did the book go? The book disappeared. All right. Go pick out another book. What to read for Ryder today? Um, love in the time of sandwiches. Good book, I've heard. <laughs> um, the first unicorn. Oh, we should read him one of our books. That would be genius, right? Really would be. Um, but let's see. Maybe we'll buy a new book. That could be kind of smart, right? Get him a good book about something very weird. The seduction by the sea. That's a good one to read to him. Uh, we will read him my pizza cat book. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, how to be a successful socialite? A complete guide to entertaining and being entertaining. I love self-help books like that. Those are so interesting. Those are some of my favorite books to read. Um. A road map to love. Once again, a little creepy to be reading to a baby. Pretty much a baby. Mm. Yeah, pork barrels. Hmm. Hmm. This is hard. We will read to him. The bladder games. Oh, can we only read him kid books? Really? Really? Seriously? Wow. Okay. I was going to read him the bladder games because it's amazing, but I guess we're going to read him the pizza poca toca one. All right, writer. I know he asked you some questions, but guess what? I don't want to hear them anymore. Get in the kitchen. Let's go read a book. Oh, I thought, I thought that was like a writer clone. I was so creeped out for a second. All right, you two, go over there. These two are going to... Oh, they're so cute. Why don't they go hang out in his room? Do something together. Oh, I wish they could do like their homework together. That'd be so cute. Maybe I can put an act... Oh, well, I don't have Smolians. To put an activity in their room. I was gonna be like, we should go watch TV together, play video games together. Can't do that. Oh, they can have an inside joke. Yes. Yes. Take a picture together. Be cuties. And then take like a legit selfie together. Take photo with Tess. Put down the pancakes. Put down the pancakes. Put down the pancakes. Go take a picture with Tess. Grungy from low hygiene. We should probably fix that, shouldn't we, in a sec? What's Drake doing? Still running around. Then he probably he's gonna see Ethan with like a super cute girl and be like, yes! Gretchen in the background. Yes! Yes! Gretchen, yes, you've never looked so... Or we can have a tombstone in the background. Um, we'll get Gretchen's nose. <laughs> oh, I love it. How cute are they? Oh. I wish she had some really awkward object on so I can be like, What are those? No, but that's good. <laughs> oh, what cuties. Okay, let's take one more. like I love your pet so cute oh it's like the same pose come on guys forget it then I don't want the same pose over and over again okay let's go ahead and put this up in his room he's probably so excited to have this we'll sell this one let's see we'll put this right here 
and we'll add a frame. This is where he'll do his homework, gather inspo, and right when he looks up, he sees beautiful Tess being beautiful. All right, he's gonna go take a shower really quickly though. She's probably grossed out. She should still be here after we shower. You know, he's gonna go take a cold shower at that. Oh, we can't. Okay, yeah, go take a shower. We can only take steamy showers, but a cold shower is a, it's kind of like a joke. Uh, kind of. Oh, did Ryder leave? Tell me Ryder didn't leave. Ryder, I'll invite over your brother and I'll end up liking him more than you if you left. Did he really leave? No, he's still here. Okay. <laughs> Thank goodness. You're still here, Ryder, because it was about to get a little, a little bad. I was going to call you out and tell you that I like your brother better, but you're here. So good for you. Who's calling? Oh, Megan wants to chat. She's probably like, can you tell your wife to stop hanging out with my kid on the daily? Or at least invite both of them over. He's like, uh, about that. <laughs> Not much I can do about it. All right, hurry up, Megan. I want to open up this time capsule. All right. We got a buddy, which I already have a buddy, so we're going to go ahead and sell him. We have some fossils. I've never really gotten to the whole fossil thing. So it's like, should I? Should I? I guess he'll... He has nothing better to do. Extract the fossil, study it if you have to. We have a one fossilized plant fossil. Very cool. Can you go study it? Yeah. Spend your time doing something. <laughs> I say spend your time doing something. Instantly gets hungry. I see where this is going, honey. You're not fooling anybody. Put our cookies away. Put the fruit cake, which never goes bad. No, I'm going to leave the fruit cake out because... People tend to grab it. It's kind of what it's for. It's just a nice little complimentary dish. Oh, and Tess is leaving. Illy, girl. Illy. I also want Ethan to have a costume party. I haven't had a, um, <gasps> yes! I haven't had a costume party yet, like I was saying, but she completed it, so now you, I don't have to read to you anymore. <laughs> I don't have to read to you anymore. Uh, be friends with three of your children. Honey, we can't... Oh, this is asking for me to have another kid. What the heck? No. No. Nadine's like, yes. Yes. I <laughs> want oh, crap. Ryder, why you do me like that? You just, you could have left and went home and said, you know what? I'm never coming over ever again. But now it's like... If you want to complete this, you got to have another kid. Crikeys. All right. Well, guys, um, it's Nadine's lucky day. She's not getting pregnant. That's not happening. Sister wishes, but it's not happening. Um, We haven't adopted yet. So we're going to adopt. Yep. And usually I would make you guys like wait a whole part but i'm just gonna go ahead and do it even though i can't afford it does that play a factor in this it might actually it might play a factor i really should wait i really should and create an adorable nursery but i'm not going to <laughs> um she's gonna have to bust her balls if she had them she's so happy look she's like yes i get one. Oh my goodness why am i doing this why am i doing this I'm going to, though. Okay. Okay. Where the heck is it? Do I have to, like... When you don't even know where the adopt thing is, of course. Um. Do I go on the computer? Maybe. Oh, it's a thousand simoleons. We can't even afford it. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Um, this is difficult. Be threat. Be friends with three of your children. Well, we only have two kids. Um, she's aging up into an elder, very shortly. Be a parent to a child with three friends, 
one of the kids needs to make some friends. Um, be a ch- be friends with three of your children. We only have two kids, and have a child get married. Oh my gosh, game! Why? All right, guys. Well, we have some money to save up because I guess this one's getting another baby. She always got her way, I guess. So yeah, guys, I will see you all in the next part. Don't forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I love you all so much and I will see you all in the next part. Bye, guys. Thank you so, so very much for watching this video. To subscribe, you can go ahead and hit that button down there. And don't forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up because that's always nice. And if you would like to watch more of my videos, you can go ahead and click on my face. Once again, thank you so much and yeah. Ha <laughs> ha.